loss for protection. Imagine the loss of all that we've gained because of an irrational paranoia. Just uh, got some idea from this movie that I can use duplicates to do the same concept as in the movie. So here I got, got the character which I have downloaded from the internet, which is free. If you just Google it for 3D animated character, you can get loads and loads of it. So it's a free character, you can download it and use it. You don't have to use the same one, of course. Here is my setup. I have the spotlights, which is 9.92 words. It doesn't have to be exactly that figure. So you can have any number of words. Um, and they have four lights surrounding it. So, um, so here, one, two, three, yeah. This is my setup. Now I'm going to add a plane. Uh, before that, uh, yeah, just let me add a plane. Plane, and then I want to make it bigger, so press S to scale, and then make it bigger. <coughs> And then I need to subdivide this uh, plane. So I need to go to edit mode and then edit mode and right mouse click and subdivide a few times. So yeah, subdivides. The more subdivides I'll get, the more vertices I will get. So, so the character will be placed on every junction of the vertex. So <coughs> here we go. So now I need to parent this character to the plane. So in order to do that, I need to select the character and then make sure I'm just selecting the armature as well by holding the shift key. Shift, oh yeah, select the armature and then finally select the plane that is the one to be parented. Right, and then now click on control P. See, most of the time, most people select object. In this case, I'm going to select object. Within a bracket, you can see the keep transform. So that will keep the char animator character as it is. So I'm going to select object with keep transform. So now <laughs> I need to select the plane, deselect the character, and then select the plane on its own. And then go to its plane's property and under the instancing select birds there you can see nearly more than 25 26 uh, animated character duplicated within a second so that's cool that's cool so if i select the face so that you can see the original character standing in the middle and the duplicated characters all just got its miniatures version of it selecting back to words so that's again faces and let's play some animation and then see how it's going to work in this faces mode. Right, you can see the original character standing in the middle and the miniature character standing in the faces of the uh, the happy walk in the faces of the uh, plane. That's really cool. So if I change this to render mode, um, just see it's doing it but it's slow so my PC is slow it's not that fast a PC so probably I need to switch back to the solid mode there you go solid mode we can see I just changed to words <laughs> there you can see it's a happy dancing character yep yeah, just through the camera view by hitting zero in the numpad so um, whatever you see through the camera view you will get. I want to lock this to the camera view so you can just adjust the viewport through the camera view. Right now, so see, this is the scene you will get when you render this animation. So, um, this looks cool. Right, let me switch back to the viewport mode by pressing num1 in numpad yep it's nice really right so this is how the duplicates works before I just finish this tutorial so I want to show you one more example the easy example which is quick and fast sorry quick quick uh, fast one so um, 
quick and easy that's what I meant to say so I just want to play this animation a bit longer so I can appreciate um, its features of that duply words of blender is doing great job here right okay that's enough I'll stop this one post this animation and then going to jump back to the the example I just told you that which I'm going to do right just first of all in order to do that I just delete all this so I just deleted the plane and then deleting this character let me bring the overlay back right so leave the cameras and then slides as it is and just delete the character by just select it and then hit delete so it's not deleting the armatures uh, deleting it so easier one to easier way to delete is by going jumping to the collection panel and then delete from there right click and delete so I delete that one delete this delete this delete this I have deleted now I have been left with the lights and the camera now I'm going to add a monkey hat so I already had um, add the matte cap so I just like to do most of the things with matte cap on so in case if you want to change to a different color orange is too bright and gaudy and this one now just let me stick with what I had before okay I'm just sticking with this one right matte cap uh, done so you can see things in color right just move this monkey a bit up there and then z axis by g and then adding the plane again and then scale it to make it bigger yeah, scale it and the next thing is i need to subdivide this by going to edit mode right mouse click subdivide this time I'm going to use that temporary panel up here and then increasing this to like six times so we have enough vertices to duplicate this monkey head on all the junction of the vertices right now just going to parent it select these two parent it control P and then click on birds here you go nearly 50 monkey heads within a second and then you can see the original monkey head it's just there in the middle so there you go this one so if I scale it or if I rotate or if I move the original ones everything get moved or everything get resized or everything yeah it's affecting the, all the monkey heads it's not you cannot edit the individual monkey heads at the moment up until you select they make it real so I'll just show you in a few minutes apply and then make it real so if I move as I can individually edit each monkey heads now move rotate scale what do I want to do so here you go so all these monkey heads got duplicated within seconds that's a great feature the dupli words of blender is doing a great work here thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe for more videos thank you